Welcome to Sculpture Studios. On several occasions, we've been asked by companies to bring their 2D logos into the three-dimensional world. For this job, a company called It's a Baking Thing wanted us to blow up their bowl and whisk image to create a 3D piece of art for their various exhibition events around the UK. They wanted the bowl made 1.5 metres in diameter and the rest in proportion, so this meant with the whisk added, the whole sculpture would come to about 1.7 metres in height. The client found us on the internet originally and asked if this was something we could do and we said this was right up our street, as oversized props are always fun items to make. If you've seen our giant coconut video, we're using the same process for cutting out the main shape. To get a rough form from this bulk piece of polystyrene, we're cutting the same profile from multiple points around the clock, only with this project we're rotating the polystyrene itself. This means we get a rough shape and though the surface is made up of flat planes, this is a much better starting point for Aiden to then carve from. In order to create the lip of the bowl, we've decided to cut off a 6 inch slice and remove the middle. We can then reattach this and we think this was far quicker and neater than trying to carve the recess from a solid block. When we first cut the main shape, we initially allowed ourselves an extra inch or so of waste material and this is what Aiden's going to remove when he starts carving. This way he doesn't need to worry about taking off too much material so that the sculpture doesn't look like the image anymore. He's essentially smoothening down the whole shape, removing all the flats and creating a rounder shape as visibly possible. To keep the cost down for the client we're making this from polystyrene and just giving it a light plaster render. This cuts out the process of having a mould made and then a fibreglass cast taken, however just being made from polystyrene it does mean the sculpture is relatively fragile. This needs to be handled with care during movement and transportation and generally looked after when it's around the public. There are always a few things to consider when bringing something from two to three dimensions. For example with this image it's just a bowl and a whisk on its own. We discussed with the client whether they wanted the bowl to be empty, as this isn't actually shown in their image, or to be filled with some sort of cream whip. We recommended this idea as it aids at giving the sculpture much more strength than an empty polystyrene bowl and it allows the whisk to squidge into something. Also in their image, the whisk only had 5 spokes and we needed to add an appropriate amount for it to be round and realistic in 3D. We wanted to make sure the whisk was positioned at the correct angle so it looked as similar to their logo as possible. We got sent the codes for their company colours and we added these to the sculpture. We're using emulsion paints here and water base filler so the client can repair the sculpture if it ever gets damaged. We provided them with spare colours and filler to bring along with the bowl and whisk when they take it to site. We deliberately didn't use a lacquer on this job so that if it does need repainting the new paint will blend in seamlessly with the rest. A lacquer would mean there'd be unvarnished areas where it's been repainted and we wanted to make repairs as easy as possible for the client. Luckily the paintwork is relatively simple on this job so it wouldn't take much expertise to repair, just a practical set of hands as we're sure all of these bakers have. We had our graphic designer print out vinyls with the website going around the entire lip of the bowl and their main image to transfer on the front and back as this is going to be seen from a 360 degree walk around. For transportation, the client requested that it be delivered in a crate, so we were able to make this for them. In order to get the bowl in and out without damaging it, we've created a panel on the floor that allows the whole sculpture to slide in and out of the box without actually needing to touch the bowl itself. We've also added high density foam on the inside of the crate to ensure that it wouldn't move around and hit anything during transit. We always like to get a few photographs of what we create in our studio before it's collected, but our client Helen Aldred was also kind enough to send us some finished shots of the sculpture when it was all set up on location. It's always great seeing pieces like this in use and really being appreciated by the public. The bowl and whisk has been moving now to and from various events around the UK and here it is in its debut exhibition at Cake International in early February 2015. Though pieces like these are made as just temporary sculpture, we often find that companies like them so much that they want to keep them safe as a permanent feature. We hope it's a baking thing get many uses out of this and who knows, perhaps want to keep it as a permanent piece as well. Please feel free to leave any comments below as they're always appreciated and hit the subscribe button for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook and for more of our work visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching.